I'm in San Diego to check this out. Hyundai say people are nervous about three things when checking out a new electric vehicle. They're nervous about range, they're nervous about charging times, and they're nervous about public charging. Well, they think they've solved all three of those with this, the new Ionic 5. Ionic was originally the name of a Hyundai model, but last year the company spun it off as an electric-only sub-brand. Now, Hyundai have some big goals in the future. By 2025, they're looking to sell 1 million EVs worldwide. Hyundai have plans to do things very differently from other manufacturers. Now, the Ionic 5 is the first vehicle on this new platform in the EV lineup. There will be two more coming, the Ionic 6 and the very large Ionic 7. This is just the start of the sub-brand. Now, you know I'm all about the thrill of the drive of electric cars. There are three different drive modes here. You can push a button on the steering wheel and go from eco to normal to sport. And you can actually feel the difference in sport mode. The only sad part about it is in a ice engine, an internal combustion engine, which burns gas, when you put your foot down in sport, you can hear the difference. And then, of course, in an electric vehicle, it's just more silence. When driving an electric, there's a few basics we have to remember. One thing we're all learning as we get more used to electric vehicles is the fact that driving them is extremely exciting. It's like the old train set. We keep saying this, that the more you turn up the dial, the faster they go. There is no transmission. Of course, the more you put your foot down, the faster the vehicle goes and it gets pretty exciting as well and of course they have that one pedal feature where you don't need to use the brake you take your foot off of the accelerator and it automatically slows down to zero to get here hyundai did lots of research so automobile manufacturers have been asking customers what they want in new electric cars and the answers have been coming back three things are required by customers of new electric vehicles they want everything to be standardized so they understand their electric vehicles more readily they want more room on the insides and they want them to be safe and Hyundai hope that they've met all of those requirements from customers in the new Ionic 5. Filling up a gas tank can take four to 10 minutes. So what about charging an electric car? All right, so Hyundai are trying to solve a lot of the charging problems. They have allowed you to go from 10% to 80% in just 18 minutes. And that's because they use an 800 volt system instead of a 400 volt system, which is what a lot of car companies use. You can actually charge your car to do 68 miles in just five minutes. And that's more miles than most people use in a single day. There's no way around it for now. It takes longer to charge a car than gas it up, but those numbers are coming down. To make it more palatable, Hyundai have an offer that you can't refuse. Now, the great thing about buying a brand new Ionic 5 is that when you take it home, you'll get two free years charging from Electrify America. And then it'll come with a whole host of other accoutrements around the electric industry. You'll get a solar system, a home charger and other things. It'll also work as a power base at home as well. You'll be able to use it to take trips, charge another EV, use it as a home base while camping and it'll be the first EV from Hyundai to get over-the-air updates, so there'll be more pieces of that puzzle revealed as time goes on. This is definitely the most space-aged looking car I've ever driven. Let's talk about the design. This vehicle is actually a bigger wheelbase than the Palisade, which is their award-winning 
three row SUV, digital lights up front, digital lights in the mirror, digital lights at the back end. Let's talk about the sides, that very square angular look. Looks a little like the Lamborghini Urus SUV or Super SUV that we've known and love in the past when you look at the sides. And those wheels, 20 inch digital wheels, the biggest that they've ever done at Hyundai. And inside is also very different. The inside's very roomy. It's uncluttered and there's very little on this inside that isn't necessary. It's open and spacious. There is the minimal amount of stuff on the inside. Cup holders, lots of space for storage, and it's comfortable. There is a very clean look to it. You'll find that it looks space age on the inside and very modern. If I was to give it a genre, I might say Swedish in looks on the inside, but it's definitely something I could see in a movie which is fairly old now, but something like Tron or Judge Dredd. It looks like somewhat of a spaceship, although that may be a little bit cliche-ish. It's true when it comes to the inside of the Ionic 5. And it also has that feeling somewhat of Jetsons, a classic look on the interior. Customers made their wishes known about the inside too. Now in some of those questions that have been asked of customers, 92% have responded saying when they buy an EV, one of the things they require is tech and they want the tech to be very high level. So does this new Ionic 5 deliver with that tech? It is all about the screen size. Well, we expect Hyundai to always deliver with tech. They were ranked number one in tech by JD Power and Associates. They have two dual 12 inch big display screens in this vehicle and that's impressive because they're very bright and very clear and that's the first thing that you notice when you sit behind the driver's screen they also have a big heads-up display which is immediately noticeable when you start your journey and that heads-up display has multiple colors and it gives you augmented reality when it comes to navigation. So it points which direction you should be turning and it also gives you some interesting signals, things like blind spot. When a vehicle moves into your blind spot, it signals that. It gives you other tech features like phone as a key. Now that key can be tossed to somebody that you want to be able to drive your vehicle. It also is seamless and works very well. I've been using phone as a key in this vehicle and have had absolutely no issues with it. And even though it only has eight speakers, the sound is some of the cleanest I've ever heard. Even down to the sound system, Bose worked hard to give it a good, clean, crisp sound with the sound bar, the subwoofer system in the back, and just eight speakers brings the perfect balance of sound into the vehicle. I'm Nick Miles.